Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is the 29th of May, and this is Brandy's kids. So we're getting ready for a storm, but we thought we'd try and get these in before the storm hit. So you are really going to hear the wind. It's going to be a little bit of a noisy video this time, but it's better than indoors. The lighting's a lot better. We actually came around the side of the house to try and get out of the wind because it's like a little hurricane. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these guys. I'm going to do the blacks first because there's too many of them. And I'll get them mixed up. So, uh, we're going to start on this end and work our way back. Well, let's start on this end. Alright, so this is... And I know I, I wore the wrong colored shirt to do this today. Especially with black babies. 7540 is her microchip number. And she has lots of black on her belly. There is no white at all. Say lots and lots of black. She has no black on her chin, no black on her toes. Eyes are open, so I'll let Vanessa zoom in really close. And I'm going to try and get pictures on, but I don't think it'll be today. You're going to see the video first. Uh, they're doing really great. They're nice and fat. They're all doing wonderful. Let's see what she weighs here. She's one pound, 10.6 ounces as of today. Give me a turn that around. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. We're going to go this one. I'm hoping they stay in the order I've done them so I can keep track. This is another black. This is a male. This one has a little tiny bit of white on these back feet has a little tiny bit of white on the chest, a white on the goatee, and all that will stay white. Other than that, it's insignificant. There's no other color. Let me check your coat. But I don't think anybody in here is turning colors. No, nope, he's black and he's gonna stay black probably. But he could turn it about six two months to a year. Sometimes they turn gray, sometimes they turn silver. I'll let Vanessa get a good face picture. And let's see where we're at. So we are at one pound, 9.4 ounces. All right, so far so good, they're staying in order. All right, let's go to number three. And this one is another male. This is a black. Microchip number 7535. Did I give you a microchip on the last puppy? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> if I did not give you one on the last puppy, 7531 is the last puppy's microchip that I forgot to give you, I think. So this one is 7535. Really pretty coat, already showing a lot of waves. Let me give you a face picture since he's being still before I roll him over on his back. And this one has absolutely no white anywhere on toes, feet, or belly, or chin. So he is jet black. And he has, well, let me look. Nope, no color change. So this guy is gonna stay black, it looks like. Put you back where you were. All right, and the last black, I know you're seeping, is a female. Her microchip is 7544. She has black on her back toe, I'm sorry, yeah, black on her back toes. She has white on her back toes. She's got white on her goatee, which will stay there. And she has a huge white strip down her belly and on her neck. So that's the story on her. And we are getting blacker and more rumblier. One pound, 11.8, nope, six, 1.6. Keeps kind of variationing there. All right. So, since everybody's asleep, let me grab the one that everybody's been asking me about. This is the little male. Every My phone has been buzzing about this little guy. Oh, I forgot. I have not chipped him yet because I didn't want to stick him with the big needle. So, we will microchip him, but I haven't done it. He does have a natural tail. We did not dock his tail because we didn't want to stress him when he was so little. He is a merle. He will probably turn silver merle at some point. He looks a little silver underneath the hair, but it's hard to tell. And uh, he may end up the silver color that Brandy is, because he does have a little bit of silver on his belly. So he's got white on his belly. 
He's got white on these back toes. He has a cute little face and his eyes are open. And let's see what he weighs. He's done really super good. He is 15.6 ounces, so he's gaining really well. See, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I don't think he'll ever be as big as everybody else, but there's always the possibility that he could. Okay, let's do the brindle. And the brindle is microchip number 7537. And this is a female. She's doing really good. Beautiful coloring. If I gave her a haircut right now, I think she'd look like her mom with her stripes from her, her mom's earlier pictures. I know, what are you looking at? You know, look up there at the camera, at Vanessa. But really nice baby, no, lovely coat, just really pretty. And I do think she's gonna end up the color of Brandy at the end. I gotta bend my knees. One pound, 9.2 ounces, and she says, I'm gonna scoot right off of here. All right, so let's do this Merle first. They're sound asleep, they're zonked out. This is the little Tri Merle. This puppy is 75.45, and a Tri means he's got brown on the legs, brown on the eyebrows, brown on the cheeks, brown around the muzzle, brown up the back legs, and brown under his tail. Her tail, his tail, her tail. So she will always keep that brown markings. She's got a beautifully marked coat. She's got gorgeous, gorgeous color. Oh my goodness sake, I know, you're on top. Okay, cover your eyes, cover your eyes. Okay, there you go. You wanna come up here? You're gonna come snuggle in? Squeeze in there. There you go. You're gonna do it now? This is usually my screamer. All right, so you are one pound 4.6. Whoop, one pound five, even. The little guy's gonna catch you in a little bit. All right, did you get a face picture on her? All right, last one is the other blue Merle. There's a fly that has found us. 7547, really pretty coloring. I get, oh, Vanessa cut their faces, so they've all had their faces trimmed. So you can actually see that silver really showing through where we, we shaved their face. So this puppy will absolutely be silver underneath here. Silver with the black stripes, exactly like dad. See, I'm gonna look just like my daddy. And this is another female. This is, both of those are girls that are blue Merle. And she is one pound 10.8. So where are we at on time? Eight. Okay, so there's a face picture. So they've had their eyes open. They are all, they've had their first uh, worming. They're really not doing a whole lot yet. Uh, by the time they hit three weeks to maybe three and a half weeks, they'll be up and walking. Oh, we forgot one. And we've got to dump them out of their welt box at that point. We're going to get rained on. So we're going to speed this up just a little bit. 75.43 is this puppy. You can really see the curls coming, and look at the face, how much curls are on the face. Lots and lots of curls on this one's face. This is a male, and it is a chocolate. It's got chocolate nose. It's gonna have, it looks like it's gonna turn like a, a rusty, reddy brown, and it's got a little bit of brown on the tail, but he's doing really good. Belly is all white. There's just nothing on him but white except for the chocolate markings. And let's see what he weighs. And he may get, no, I thought there was another speck. Sometimes they develop little tiny, like, ticking under their coat, but I don't see any brown on him. One pound, 10.2. So, oh, you're at Chunko. So that's kind of the story on these guys. We almost forgot you, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So we are gonna get rained on here shortly. We're gonna get out of here. It's getting darker and darker and it's getting windier and windier. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry it's so short, but um, if you have any questions, give me a call and I'll try and get their pictures on uh, ASAP. So, uh, other than that, they're doing great. 
and they'll be out of their wilt box at about three to three and a half weeks old and walking around the floor. Next week, you will see a huge difference in them. And when they're about five weeks old to six weeks, we'll go ahead and we'll put their collars on them. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed their pictures. Have a great day and call me if you have any questions.